I often get asked why I prefer a red dot and a magnifier over a variable power optic for two gun action challenge style events. So I'm going to use some archive match video to show you why I prefer a red dot and a magnifier over a variable. Quite simply put, the benefits of magnification are dramatically outweighed by the benefits of unlimited eye relief. Unlimited eye relief allows me to quickly get behind the sight and as soon as the dot dances across the target send the shot. Not having to get into an eye box from awkward positions such as those seen on this VTAC barricade makes it dramatically faster to get the dot on target and send the shot versus using a variable where I have to get in the eye box, see the reticle, then send the shot. A variable optic on one power with daylight bright red dot reticle still takes longer to get a sight picture through than a red dot alone with no eye relief from these awkward positions. In these two video clips you've just seen, I'm shooting at the same size target at relatively the same distance and you can see how much longer it takes me to acquire the sight picture through the variable on one power. Three gun stage designs tend to favor getting behind the sights and staying behind the sights and sending a bunch of rounds, whether at close range or at distance. Two gun action challenge match style stage designs tend to favor making a rapid sight acquisition, engaging one to three targets, then moving and doing something else. While the time difference between acquiring the sights with a red dot versus a variable doesn't make that much of a difference in most three gun matches, because of the repetitive nature of reacquiring the sights in two gun action challenge match style stages, that difference can add up substantially. I'm easily 10% faster than myself using a red dot at these type of events versus a variable. Variable power optics do have their place. If I'm shooting an event where most of the shooting is going to be between 100 to 500 yards versus close range, I prefer a variable because of the range of magnification it offers over a red dot and a magnifier. For events where 90% of the shooting is at 100 yards or less and there might be some shooting out to 300 yards with some small targets intermixed, I prefer the red dot and the magnifier. The red dot is simply faster under a wider range of circumstances than any variable power scope can be. In the hands of a skilled shooter, a red dot and magnifier can keep up with or even beat variables in environments that favor them. The shooter must be prepared to deal with less magnification than variables offer, and the crisper the dot is under magnification, the easier performing at higher levels will be. Likewise, the better the clarity of the glass of the magnifier itself, the easier it will be to perform at high levels as well. Thank you for watching. Come back again for more match and multi-gun competition content.